In this video, we're going to take a look at creating stairs and railings by using the components tool. From the architecture tab, I'll select stair. And what I've done is I've created some guides for myself using reference planes based upon the center of the run. The things that you want to pay attention to when creating stairs is the type you're using, the base level, the top level, and the actual run width that you've selected. Once you have all that figured out, you can start the stair by clicking. And I'll use the helper here to create my first run, which in this case is going to be 10 risers. And then using my reference plane, on the other side, I'll go ahead and select the start of the next run. And then using the guide, I can select the point of where the stair will terminate. Once I have this created, I can finish the sketch. And you'll notice that handrails are automatically created as part of the stair. I'm going to go to the section view. And from here, we're going to adjust the handrail. First thing I want to do is I want to change the type from handrail rectangular to guardrail pipe. This is going to give me the option to modify both the top rail and the handrail independently. For this exercise, we're going to edit the handrail. By hovering over the railing, I can hit tab. And that'll allow me to select the handrail independently. And then I can hit Edit Type. With Edit Type selected, I can add an extension by selecting the style I want to use. In this case, I'm going to say Wall. And then I'll define the length to be 1 foot plus 1 tread depth for the beginning or the bottom. And then for the, the top extension, I'll do the same thing, set it to Wall. And then I can add a length to that as well for one foot. I'll hit OK, and you can see the extension is automatically added. If we were to look at this back in the floor plan, you can see that we have railings at the bottom with the extension and at the top as well. We can also edit the path of the railing by selecting it, going to Edit Path. And in this case, I don't need the railing to go beyond the run and throughout the landing. So what I'll do is I'll just delete those portions. And you can see this is the only segment I have left. And then I can finish the sketch. Because I've asked it to create a extension at the top, it'll do that automatically. So we'll take a look at that in section. And you can see what we have. The other options for the railing are to have it do a floor transition, which will automatically take a post down to the floor, or a post transition, which will bring it back to the post that's on the, on the guardrail. We're going to stick with wall.